Ramp? <laughs> Every time. Hey there, everyone! This is Outcowling, Mega Man in Minecraft. Add an X somewhere in there. So, people have asked me about the weapon, the boss weapons, and yeah, I'm a little curious about them. My plan was to check them out after we beat all four bosses, but the reality is... I don't know what's gonna happen once I beat the four bosses. Like, I, I do not know. Uh, so it's probably prudent to check things now, then. So let's do that. So here we have all four boss weapons. And apparently, you have to buy them separately. But you can try for free. So let's do that today. Here's the... They missed... They missed... It's, it's the Horming Torpedo. You made a mistake. Let's see how there are no enemy nearby. Apparently, you can try them out. Okay, so I'm going to be teleported to the Triad Zone. <laughs> oh, okay, so select that. There you go. It's a homing missile. Like, if I shoot, like, here. Oh, yeah, you'll find a target. If I shoot, like, over here. Oh, we got, oh, we got a sneak preview of the snowball thrower. All right, and apparently... Yeah, you can also test out charging at... Fish! They're just... The fish did not have homing properties, it looked like. I don't know. Fish! Like that? Oh no, they just go. And that's fish! How do you get out of here? Ugh, slowness. I got that. I don't know what that means. I don't know how to get out of this screen. Um, okay, you press escape. That's a good plan. How do you get out of here? Escape? No. Um... Is there, oh, there's a door in the back. Okay, that makes more sense. Use computer! Okay, this is clunky, but I get it. That is the homing torpedo. Let's check out now the com That's Yeah, Launch Octopus isn't even in this game. And this model looks really naked, by the way. I mean, it's the model you used to go fishing. I guess I kind of see it. Stink a million! Uh, I need to... Yeah, I got equipped. So, let's go ahead and shoot. Okay, I see how that works. It puts out like this thing that then turns into three projectiles of its choice. I mean, I don't see how you would ever really use that usefully, but it's there. And look at that! We keep the turn invisible. We can see that these enemies... Whoa, there are... The birds seem to know where I am. Okay, they might know where I am. But yeah, but we could send their behavior. They were not shooting anything. That is cool! Like, it's a functional... Chameleon sting, like, doohickey that makes you invisible. And then Dr. Light, he's alive, and that freaks me out. What's these? What's this? The more powerful version with fire charge weapons for all online. And that's 5 Honda, which I could get. What about this thing? So, like, that's a full set of armor, which I could also buy. Okay, so you got basically armor and gun as separate enemy. I should, I mean, I have the money for both. I should pro. I gotta mine this thing. It's not working. Uh, so yeah, I should probably buy them. I mean, there's no reason not to. All right, what's this flame speeder? No, it's a massive cube. It's the rolling shield. <laughs> And it does roll, like here, like I'm trying to shoot up, and it like falls. <laughs> Gonna shoot right on top of me. I am one of the shield! <laughs> that is so dank, I kinda love it. What does the armored like shield shield do? Did it do anything? Eh. Uh. Like nothing happened. Oh no! It's because the shield is invisible from the inside, which is very smart. Check it out! I'm the Cube Lord! Oh. Oh, that is honestly pretty rad. Okay, okay. These are just super rad, but like, it's just weird that you need to buy them, you know? It just doesn't make sense to me. Ah, uh, and there's the speedy fire. The fire wave, there you go. That's what it's called. Where am I? Where? Oh, there's a tank for underwater or what? I don't know. All right, so yeah, the flamethrower. If you just use a normal gun, you just do a little spurt. 
That is incredibly bad. That's it. But if you hold the other gun, you get this massive wave going. Like this very impressive, but destroys your vision thing going. And then whoosh. Oh, that is... That, the end result is a bit of a letdown. But for the purpose of like the actual flamethrower, that's pretty rad. You can outrun it. No, yeah, you can. Okay. All right. I love the the normal gun. Like this is the flamethrower you get. That was that was fun. It's you know fun to think about flamethrowers. LOL. If you've never thought about the flamethrower, a shotgun ice. We haven't met Penguini yet, but we will. It's looking like tomorrow because it's always already been six minutes. Right, shotgun ice. Wait, does it not shatter? Okay, it does. But the shatters are like very well. There's, there's tiny little sprites. So it looks, it looks fine. All right. So is this going to do a board? Yeah. So it's basically a transportable minecart. All right. Um, let's see how this looks like. If you do it on top of your head. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, honestly, it, I think it's impressive how a lot of the functionalities do seem to be, like, left. Oops. How do I talk to computer? Computer? I want to exit. It's not... It's not letting me. Um... Why not? Where am I? I'm just kind of stuck here. Yeah, I know. Oh, there! Here I can use a computer. I don't know why I couldn't anywhere else, but the world is a magnificent machine box. All right, Cutterang. Show me the goods. Teleport me. Wee! Oh, does it go back? Oh yeah, eventually. It just takes like forever. Okay, uh, it really takes forever. You just need like a s ton of space. Okay. Wee! Alright, kind of not really see anything. So let's try from the outside camera. Yeah, it's just like all around you. Kind of less impressive. In 3D than in 2D. But I enjoy how just like forever this thing goes though, if you just throw it on its own. Also, all the weapons do seem a lot stronger than the lemon, for what it's worth. It's like, do you need to be ducking to be able to access those computers? Like, that seems to be what I'm learning here. That is very strange. Did I trip on something? Like, I was just going like, blah, for a hot second. You know what? It's fine. I mean, I don't... Okay, you know what? Here's Spark Zone. Here's the Spark Zone machine. There we go. Electric Spark. That's the correct name. Alright. That's the sound it makes. Okay, yeah, so... I think that's the interesting part. Is when you go from 2D to 3D, I feel like you gotta think about the area of things. Oh, I could not shoot up there? Am I hitting the bullet? I think I'm hitting the bullet. Oh, it just phases through the ceiling, though. Ceiling doesn't really exist. Nor does the floor. But the wall, though, the wall gets us the goods that we want to see eventually. Oh, wow, that just destroyed on me, tool. Yeah, okay. All right, I want to see big lightning wall. Yeah, sure. I, I feel like I want it to be taller. You know? Like, I feel like this one works. I guess maybe some of the areas, the prompt is at the wrong place. I don't know. And finally, the last weapon here that you can get if you want it. This ability to try is very smart. Storm Tornado! Oh, <laughs> I love it! Yeah, it's a big, like, tornado beam. What does it look like, like, sideways? I, I can't... There you go. If I do that, I can see it. Good. We're gonna have, like, the massive tornado column. Oh, and you can leave it there, and it stays? All right. I'm gonna do this. We... I'm gonna throw a tornado. Like, that's legit pretty rad. I don't know. I think that's pretty rad. 
Knowing me, though, I don't think I'm gonna buy any of them, but I'm glad that these are here. Like, these are legit pretty neat. Aren't they? I think they are. All right, but see, the thing is, I have like a thousand dollars and change. If I'm gonna be buying anything, it's gonna be the armor. There you go. I got armor now. Done. You can tell by my beautiful armor that is on me. Do I need to, like, equip it, or...? Alright, so it does not let you buy it again. Oh, it's probably because I'm still in base. Like, the same way that you don't have, like, all my weapons down the bottom. Yeah, so I'm trying to jump, and I accidentally... It's not jump to activate computers. Yeah, why not? Oh, so no, wait, so now my charge gun will be better. But I can't try it out here. I'll have to wait until I'm in the stage. But there you go. And now I spent a ton of money. Do I have enough for another heart tank? Wouldn't say no to that. I do! Just barely. Alright. More hearts! Uh, thank you for the sound effect. I needed that. And yeah, this was like the length of a session. Going through all these triad zones. And all that. Uh, kinda... It took an amount of time. It's just, you know, it's, everything is what it is, man. That's fine. Stink Chameleon was a tough one! I guess they showed the true colors! Who even is Stink Chameleon, Zero? You fool! You absolute monster. What's going on here? This is like the achievement zone, right? So, yeah, I fought all of these. I fought Zero. <laughs> There's Vile. I don't know what these are about. Like, do you get details when you get close? Interact! Left trigger. Defeat Sigma! I'll we'll do that later. What's this? Complete everything. Okay, so that's just be the best that ever was. That will not happen. So that's probably defeating all four. That's probably maxing out your thing. That's for blowing up. That's for Sigma. That's for running away. And that's probably time related. Like time, like, you know, time trial related. Like, everything has a time zone too. Also, whoa, what was that loading moment? Like, you saw everything go like, Bruh, very scary. Uh, also, um, last time, we saw there was a hard mode, right? A hard mode for Eagle. What does hard mode mean? Like, is does it change the level, or is it just, like, numbers? Because if it changes the levels, I mean... I mean...